Hey, this is John. So you're watching this video because you want information about driving to the Gila Cliff Dwellings. Okay, so you've probably looked on the map and uh, what you're seeing is a road going basically new north out of Silver City through a little town called Pinos Altos. And then from the east, there's a road that comes in. I think it's the name of the town is Membres. M-E-M-B-R-E-S. Anyway, uh, the road from Pinos Altos is bad. And uh, I was trying to think of a way to describe it before making this video. Envision lengths of a road three to five hundred feet long. At the end of that length of road is either a 90 degree turn or a 170 degree turn. So sharp turns. Uh, now, we did it in second gear and it was bad. Uh, the problem is that, you know, you're, you're fine 15 to 20 miles an hour, but the vehicle starts creeping up 20, 25, 30. As it gets to 30, by the time it gets to 30, you've now come into a turn you got to hit the brakes and turn. Uh, Ten miles into it, I began to notice a, a certain degree of brake smell. And then I'd say probably two miles after that, I started to experience brake fade. And then we pulled over and uh, cooled off for half an hour. When we initially pulled off, our brakes, the calipers, were th just about 300 degrees. So that's the good news. That's the first... Uh, 30 miles of the other uh, road 30 miles from silver city up 30 miles from uh members up i would go that way i would go from the west i'm sorry from the east from members over to the intersection to the fork in the road you'll see it you'll know what i mean when you see it okay uh there's that now here's the problem the last 15 miles goes from bad to worse because take the idea of the short length sharp turns and add in 10 to 15 degree uh, slopes up and down uh, it was horrible now there's no shoulder on the road and there's no uh, protective uh, barrier none of that sort of stuff on the road so uh, the problem is that on weekend, we were there on the weekend, you get a lot of uh, uh, kids out driving dad's, uh, like, you know, Dodge Charger, uh, speeding around on that road. Uh, so it was bad. Now, the other thing I will tell you is that uh, we are driving in a Toyota RV. And it's actually the, the, the f body of it is a 91 Toyota one-ton pickup truck with a dual uh, back tire axle, all right? That truck is designed to hold one ton. I think, though, however, that the add-on that Winnebago put on there is probably just over that, okay? Basically, what I'm saying is we were overweight and underbraked, okay? So, uh... Now, let me tell you one other thing. We would not have made it in our car or in our vehicle if I hadn't made a modification last year. And it just so happens that the front calipers on our Toyota pickup are the same calipers that are on, like, a, I can't remember what it is, a, a Supra or something like that. Long story short, our front rotors are competition-grade rotors, meaning they are drilled and slotted, high-temperature, with the cooling veins in the middle. And still, we were having brake fade and uh, barely able to stop. So what I'm saying is, if you're going with cheap composite brakes, you're probably not gonna have a good time on the road. Next thing is, uh, if you are hauling water in there, don't do that. Dump the water before you uh, enter onto the road, because the fact of the matter is, at the Woody's campground, at the up uh, near the other uh, cliff, cliff dwellings, the spring water that they have available there is phenomenal. So don't carry the extra weight. Don't put that uh, 
extra burden on your brakes. But the last 15 miles, as I was saying, is not only do you have the short length with the, uh, with the turns, but you have up and down there. Uh, so that makes it go from bad to worse. One last thought. If you are driving a pickup truck that has one of these, uh, uh, the, these things in the back, you know, that, that camping thing, what they call it, a lance, your pickup truck may not be rated for this kind of stopping. And I don't know how to test that. I don't know what to tell you to do. But just be aware of that. Uh, because the thing is, when the brakes start to fade and you start to smell them, there's no place to pull off. Or if there is, they're very far and few between. Uh, I have been on many roads around the world. I've been on some in the, uh, the mountains of Swaziland in Africa. They were pretty bad. And the, uh, the trucking roads in Nepal are pretty bad. And I'm telling you, this road to the Gila Cliff Dwellings is worse than that. So, uh, but at least it's paved. Anyway, if you go and have a good time, let us know. Leave comments down below. And do me a favor, subscribe. Hope this helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Talk to you.